armed serviceman who died there took his place today in a place of honor, the tomb of the unknown soldier. Almost 10 years after the last Americans left Saigon, the men who fought in Vietnam got their parade. Muffled drums and dirges, a coffin and a flag wrapped in plastic to protect it from the rain. In the amphitheater of Arlington Cemetery, families of the men still missing from Vietnam waited for the coffin and remembered. They wonder if their sons are still alive and why the world sits back and allows the Vietnamese government to flagrantly violate the Geneva Convention. Rumors of physical and mental torture have made the wait more agonizing. The families were reassured by a deeply moved president. We write no last chapters. We close no books. We put away no final memories. An end to America's involvement in Vietnam cannot come before we have achieved the fullest possible accounting of those missing in action. about the Geneva Convention, but someday you're going to be held accountable. The Geneva Convention applies to prisoners of war. You men are not prisoners of war. You are common criminals. I have repeatedly told you that there is no escape from my camp unless you consider death an escape. You are surrounded by cliffs, mountains, Dungus full of man trap and a bridge that is impassable. None of you have ever escaped, and none of you will. The only way for you to leave my camp is if Bredak confesses. He defends the country that has forgotten you. An outlaw nation, the rest of the world reviles. They are killing your ambassadors of the evil in every part of the world.
sorry those two guys died. But we don't all have to. Maybe I can get you in not to ride you so hard. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Brad? How about it, Sarge, huh? I mean, you know you could use some time off. I'm begging the captain's pardon, sir. Let me kiss my black ass. <laughs> Son? Oh, you guys are big, brave soldiers, and you think I'm a coward. No, you're not a coward. You're a traitor. I'm not a traitor. Look, our country has forgotten about us, and we have to do anything we can to survive. Look, I'm not the bad guy here. It's Braddock and his stupid pride. When we first got here, there were five times as many of us. 33 Americans. Now look at us. I said that all Braddock has to do is confess to some garbage war crime and Yin will send us home. Who's gonna care? The war has been over for... God knows how long. We don't know that for sure. There is no war. And nobody gives a damn about us. Oh, yeah? Well, I hear they're coming to get us. If I were you, I'd rather die here than have to explain to my kid that I was a gutless traitor. At least I've seen my kid. Back off, Mister. Die if you want, all of you. Who you someone coming? No one. I made it up to piss him off. Why those guys have to run? I see my wife, Gina. Yeah, my Diane's gonna be mad at me. I want the four kids more than she did. I made a deal. Cheap work and I'd retire and rent them up. Put the hell out of her. I haven't even seen my kid. Lock it out, but I can't. No one can. You do nothing bothers you. I'm just a I'm just not tough like you. and found guilty of war crimes against the people of Vietnam and have been sentenced to death.
doing anyone any good, you know that. What the hell is going on? Why are they starting this torture crap again, huh? and things. Did you get the car nine? No, nah, I can't. Ian yeah, has it locked up. up. But he told, told me to tell you that if Braddock confesses, he will give, give it to you. you. Ian can't be trusted. I've, I've given him what he wanted, and he's treated me well enough. <laughs> he doesn't care about you. It's Braddock's confession he's always wanted. Over the years, it's driven him mad. Then why not just give it to him? If Yin ever breaks Braddock, we will all be killed. Colonel Braddock, I have spoken to my superiors and arranged for you to be released. If you will simply let us film your confession just once. No public appearances, no questions. We could do it right now. Some of my men feel I'm being too lenient with you. Colonel Braddock, I didn't want to have to tell you this, but maybe you should know. Your wife is planning to remarry. She has you declared dead. Your family needs you. Sign this statement and I will let you go home before the wedding. Colonel Yen, if my wife is getting remarried, I'm happy for her. Because if she's going to wait for me to sign this confession, she's going to be waiting a long time. Get him out of here. Fighting mood. I'll, I'll give, give you one. one. Nestor, you will be Braddock's opponent, and you will win. I can't do that, sir. Colonel Yen, our deal was that I would never have to hurt any of the other prisoners. I don't fight. But. I will put you back in the American cell. I'm not sure you would be as popular there as you once were.
time you colonel fight me come on colonel protect yourself
need to talk to me. I'm the officer in charge. You have to punish somebody, then punish me.
and to borrow it. The other was too small. I brought you an arsenal that will discourage anyone from cutting into our opium business. Now only can harm us are your American friends. Why are they still alive? Francois, I have the situation under control. Huh. Thanks for our treat. You're a hot little devil. You know, this time, they're all virgins. <laughs> Come on, girls. Colonel, I don't think there is a search team. There's nothing we can do about it now. At least we know what they're putting in that hut. Those boxes? They're full of weapons. That's our way out. When do you aim to kill the Americans? In my own time. You're risking our entire operation, a very profitable operation. I'm thinking of getting a new watch. Do you think you can purchase one of those digital models? I told you to kill the Americans, God damn it! If the POW search team hears about it, we're finished. Don't let your stupid ego ruin everything! <laughs> Francois, would you come with me for a moment? Do you understand me? But... No. Do you have any new information about the American search team? No. It's the rumors. But there's been a guy hanging around asking questions. Dead. No. If he were, Colonel Ian must take his body right in front of our faces. So, my friend, can I convince you to spend the night with us and the Virgin? Sorry, I, I meant to not. Understand, I'm delivering the opium personally, but I will be back to pick up the girls. Don't forget my watch.
Looking for you. That time you showed up. At the headquarters. You'll take me to your headquarters. Name's Emerson. Clive Emerson. No, you don't understand. Now, what is needed here is a little courtesy and cooperation. I'm the point man for a POW search mission. The IFH got word of this uh, little operation some time ago. Must say, we've had a devil of a time finding you. Who is we? Ah, yes. The International Freedom House. I'm not just running around the jungle looking for publicity. He lie. It's not a lie. I'm part of a major operation. There are nine other scouts like me. We each have five square miles to cover. And all of us call in to Central Team regularly. Now, if you think that's a lie, you are in a pack of trouble. Why don't you cooperate and save yourself a lot of needless bloodshed? What the hell's going on? Damn if I know. Do you really expect me to believe you and turn over my whole camp? Well, under the circumstances, yes, I believe that's the only thing that you can do. But I hid a homing device out there in the jungle. My team know exactly where I am. Now, they'll be waiting for my signal. If I give it, they'll come in slowly. If I don't, they'll come in fast, and you'll all be dead. What's it go? Stop playing the fool. The way I figure it, these are your choices. You can either cut and run, or you can wait until my team come in, and then you can try to run. Or you can cooperate right now and save everyone a whole lot of trouble. I believe you left out some of my options. One, I could kill you and the prisoners. Yes, miss that one. And two, I can simply lock you up and wait until you are ready to give the signal. Yes, you could lock me up. I'll never give you the signal. I don't care if you kill me. Now look, I'm tired of hanging around under the sun playing footsie with a half pint would be dictator. Operation. He's lying. He's alone. 
Young Sami tu bay. He'll die tomorrow. So will you. In the meantime, if you're lonely, play with your friend. It's a very good idea to kill me. Why not? I could always get someone to pour my wine. It's because I'm the only one left who really knows how Colonel Braddock thinks. See, he hasn't gone yet. Isn't that so? Yes. He has stayed to try and take revenge on you. We'll use Francois' helicopter. We will capture him tomorrow.
nằm ờ đúng rồi anh pháp thì bẻ cổ đó thư cà dẻo rồi chắc chắn rồi
that rope.
I'll see you in about a week. Francois, I will need your helicopter to look for the Americans. I believe they've gone down the river. I am sorry, I can't help you. You will not go. I am going. Come on, let's go. What the hell are you doing? They are following my order. They needed a new leader after they heard that you had died.
knows we're here.
think I'd leave, but I know for sure you're dead. You'll not just kill me. You want to know who the better man is. That is why you stayed behind. I also want to know. That is why I kept you alive all these years. Now it is the time. You and I, one on one. No politics. No weapons. Just a little game to find out who is the better man. I knew you could not resist my challenge. Colonel Yen, the atrocities inflicted on the Vietnamese and American prisoners of this camp. Thank <laughs> you. 